In this episode, you're gonna learn the keys to successful physical training if you want to be a better wrestler in 2022. If you're gonna be a good wrestler, you have to learn how to train smart. In our last video, we talked about the three major archetypes of training. We have mental training, emotional training, and physical training. In this episode, we're gonna be going into detail about the physical aspect of our training. Now remember, the ultimate goal of physical training is to get better at wrestling. That means we wanna have a strong stance, more effective hand fighting, practical setups, and put ourselves in winnable positions. Physical wrestling training is a combination of five different things. Strength, flexibility, speed, timing, and conditioning. A good wrestler will possess all of these components in varying degrees. For example, someone who is flexible and has great timing is Yanni Diakamahalas. Someone who has great speed and explosion is Jordan Burroughs. Someone who has both flexibility and explosion is Kyle Dake. And someone who has strength and conditioning is David Taylor. When we train our physical bodies, we are looking to strengthen each one of these areas. So how do we get more strength? Well, first we need to understand why we need that strength. The purpose of having that strength is to get through tough positions. We build that strength through weightlifting and body weight exercises. We also build that strength by putting ourselves in those areas that we are less strong in so that we can build our strength in those areas that we're weaker. We have to understand too about physical strength is that it develops over time. As you mature, as you grow, as you put yourself in these positions, there is an accumulative strength that you will acquire. Well, what about flexibility? Flexibility varies based on body type. Engaging in dynamic stretching during your warmup and putting yourself in positions to gain position flexibility are key in order to be a good wrestler. There is a fun saying that goes, slow feet don't eat. And it's true, but speed is not just about how quick you can do something. Speed is also connected to timing. Now a person can have natural speed, but there are other types of speed that we must possess. For example, foot speed, hand speed, and our reaction time. That's our hand-eye coordination. You can run sprints, do foot drills, and of course, work on the patterns of hand fighting in order for you to get better at your speed. Connected to speed is our timing. Timing is all about our setups and knowing what to do next. If you want to get great timing, you must first start slow, then as every rep goes, you get a little bit faster. It takes repetition, it takes discipline, and it takes focus in order to get great timing. Lastly, we have our conditioning piece. A lot of conditioning is in the mind. It's the ability to function while you are still fatigued and the body is telling you, no, I don't really wanna do this. Conditioning is a very important aspect of wrestling because it is so difficult fighting the will and force of another living human being. That concludes our portion on the keys to successful physical training. Remember when you're building strength for wrestling that wrestling is a long haul sport. It requires inner drive and inner motivation. If you want to be the best and the most successful wrestler you can be, understand that the little things that you do will eventually add up. Take control over your own effort trust in your own ability, and push yourself a little bit further than you can go, and success will be yours. We'll see you guys on our next episode.